Recently, I have spoken to a few leaders in a coaching conversation and one of the key challenges that they highlighted to me is mainly the communication problems. As leaders, when you're moving up to the corporate ladder, there are a lot of issues residing about communications and also the behavioral problem. You want to communicate effectively to your team to let them know why you want to drive this project and also how you can work together to hit that organization goals. And as a leader, you don't want to be sound too demanding. So how can you give instructions to your team without sounding demanding? In this video, I will show you exactly how so that you can start to gain respect from your team and also working towards driving that organization goal. Way number one is you need to provide all the instructions right from the start. Now as a leader, when you give instructions to your team, you need to really be specific of what is supposed need to be done. Way number two is don't assume that your subordinates know everything. Now, no one can read your mind. That's why as a leader, you need to be more intentional and instruct your team what is supposed need to be done. And by avoiding any assumptions, it will lead the team to drive towards working on the right thing in the project. Way number three is be clear and concise by providing a detailed instructions to your subordinates and highlight those important elements, maybe in bullet points, that these are the key important things that you need to do first. Don't give them one chunk of paragraph and expect them to do miracle and understand it. They won't understand because there are too many things that has caused a lot of confusion going on. So as a leader, you need to be very mindful to give them clear and specific instructions to them. Way number four is to demonstrate whenever it's possible. For example, you want to have a specific design for the website. You need to show examples of what do you really want that website to appear as so that they will know what are your preference instead of guessing about it so as a leader it is good to demonstrate on the spot to give them a specific examples of what you really want the last way is to reaffirm whether your subordinate understand what you really want now how do you do that by asking questions on the spot after you describe the instructions to them, you can ask them, now maybe share with me, what do you understand about these instructions? And in the end, you can reaffirm that they really understood before starting that project so that you wouldn't have any misalignment or expectations that doesn't align with what you really want. Before I wrap up, I want to emphasize one key important tip for leaders. It is to not just tell your subordinates what they need to do. Instead, tell them why they need to do it. What is important about this project? What is the end goal? So by communicating the why to your team, it gives them a sense of belonging and ownership to work with you on this project. At the same time, they will increase their willingness to do it and also empowers them to think on their feet. If there's any changes along the way, they can still adapt and work with you to hit that organization goal. I hope this video helps you to understand how to communicate effectively as a leader so that your team will understand your vision, your direction towards hitting the organization goal. And let's say if you enjoyed this video, please do remember to click on the subscribe button below and share with me in the comments whether this video is useful for you to know how to improve your communication with your team. And that's all for now and I'll see you next time.